is Andrew, and welcome on back to Leo Gaming. In today's episode of Airport CEO, which, sadly though, it did not come out on Friday as I had initially promised on, in the last episode, there was a little bit of a hiccup going on with my work at the time and had an issue go on. Uh, things just happened to the point where I couldn't handle uh, YouTube videos while I was at work. Nonetheless, though, we are going to be continuing on here today, and I kind of have a good idea of what I want to actually get accomplished in this video. I think I know, finally, how to take care of the conveyor belts. I was poking around on the Steam Community Guides. I found another YouTube channel, which I will most likely link in the description or put an iCard in the top left corner. Um, it, he basically did a basic walkthrough guide on how to actually get the conveyor belts, but his video is a little bit out of date now. It's been over about a year and a half. Uh, I believe he is by the name of Wainer's World. I want to go and uh, grab his name correctly. Uh, Wainer, Wainer's World. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. At least I hope that I am. Um, nonetheless, though, we are going to go in and figure out how to get our conveyor belts today. I did, right before stream, uh, right before starting, I did go ahead and get some flights posted onto our list. Get some more on Monday and some more on Tuesday. Uh, we just got this one, so I'll go ahead and put that one down for 7 o'clock on Monday. And then Skyfly has one for me. Put you on Tuesday, why not? Now one thing that you guys can automatically start to see now is these flights are starting to repeat themselves a little bit more because you can see that there are some flights that don't really go away uh, like for instance the uh, Forest Air 5786 flight that one's been repeating ever since today so we had that one today we're gonna have that one again tomorrow Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, and ends on Thursday, basically. So that is pretty much what's going to go on today. Give me just a second here. Um, so there's that. We're going to be catching up on those flights as well. Uh, we are in a positive income right now, but I want to go and get started on my actual goal for the episode, which is to unlock conveyor belts. Conveyor belts, I figured out, I actually need to get a procurement director before I can actually do anything. And I don't know why that was typed in there. So I need to get a procurement director. Director. Um, I am guessing I'll go with the one that's 29 because she actually seems she's a bit more capable. So if we should go into procurements, yes, we should see a lot more. We got... Baggage handling, shop upgrade, a avgas, awesome. So we have the procurement director now. Next thing we need to get is we need to get the COO, which I believe is the chief operational officer. I want to say that's what it means. Uh, COO, chief operations officer, yep. That is who we need to get next. Uh, we got two right now, one that's 77, one that's 73. Uh, we're going to go with the one that's 73. Why not? So we go to economy, procurements, and we should be able to go and unlock baggage handling. Can't afford that right now. 250000 is what I need. Damn it. Oh, well, I guess we can wait on that a little bit then. Um, hopefully we're not going to be spending a lot of money towards executives and salaries. Let me actually look through this a little bit. Um, it looks like we are spending most of our money towards construction costs. Building and item operations. Uh, let me take a look at the amount of contra contractors we have. We have literally only 10 on site right now. Uh, review contract, it is only, it says 7.5 right here, but it says $8 right here. Not too sure if that's 
right or not. Um, but yeah. Are these guys actually like departing on time? Let's see, it's 1604, you just got here. You're halfway through. You should be leaving within the next like five minutes. What is wrong? What is going on? Uh, fuel level jet A1. I don't... We have... We have Avgas. We don't got jet A1. Okay, well that is something that we can possibly procure right now. Um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, Jet A1 aircraft stand we already got, so, yeah. Six hours to procure that. Could cost us a hundred thousand right there. And then we will be able to uh, get that here pretty shortly. And that's only going to cost us like six hours. Not bad. Okay. Um, one thing that I'm going to have to consider doing is get, uh, get this terminal possibly expanded. Because I do realize that the layout that I chose for this terminal building is not optimal, in all honesty. Um, eventually, I want to go ahead and take out like four of these aircraft stands, like one, two, three, four, and possibly get those to become large aircraft stands. Because if we take a look at those ones, I'm going to grab them real quick. Uh, they are pretty much the size of two small aircraft stands. So I think we can uh, hold up to that. So we will go and work out there. And I just repaired this runway not too long ago and it requests repairs again. So I guess we can go and repair it right now. We're going to be spending a lot of money towards this runway in all honesty. And I don't want to be spending a lot. Okay. And real quick, I do need to adjust something here inside of my OBS. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. We got that fixed up a little bit. We got that fixed up. Okay. Um... We got a lot of money coming in through our general aviation flights. I think I might want to consider getting some more general aviation stands because I think that I want to ex expand the general aviation, but bring down the runway to somewhere about like here, if that would be possible. I will make that work. Let's go ahead and look at that. We can technically make that work. Oh, the Avgas is actually, uh, or the a Jet A1 fuel is completed. So we got that. That's possibly the reason why we haven't been able to get most of our flights out on time. So let's go ahead and actually focus on getting that, shall we? Uh, jet A1. We need to get small jet A1 fuel depot and let's just go ahead and place it do I want to place it right over here next to where the passengers are going to be? no uh, place it over here next to the other fuel depot oh, saving we can possibly go ahead and also fast forward to the next day Just need to wait here for a minute. Okay. Let's see. We want to go ahead and delete all this golden opportunity emails. I just want to get these out of my way so that way I don't have to worry about them. Receipt for service car, receipt for airside shuttle bus, receipt for service car, uh, Freud fuel truck that can be deleted as well, Jet A1 fuel service that can be deleted as well, 
And one thing that we're going to go and get going, economy procurement. Uh, we need to get a Jet A1 fuel tanker. Okay. How much is this going to cost us? $2,000. Um, I guess that could be okay. I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, $100 hourly, 45 minutes. No checkpoint vehicle depot. Yep. Order that right now. We already got this taken care of, and now we need to go ahead and get a procurement for fuel, or a contract for fuel. Uh, oh wait, no, I think our fuel supplier, uh, which is Luke Oil, yeah, they're gonna be fueling it up. Uh, at Jet A1, wow, that's cheaper than Avgas. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. How much can you hold? 7k. It's not bad. And here you come to fuel up our tanks. There you go. I love how it turns in like that. Seems kind of a bit weird, but oh well. That fills it up. New product available. Our new product has arrived. That means we should be. Yep. Uh, neither one of those. Ah, here comes my fuel truck. Should immediately go to our uh, Jet A1 fuel stand. And we got another. Yeah, another procurement for rides or flights. I was going to get this one scheduled. Most likely, yeah, we need to get these guys taken care of as well. Okay, come on. 10 o'clock, yep. Friday, you guys are all ready. scheduled for 5.30. Okay. Oh, no, that's 3.30 time. Yeah, duh, because it's 24 hours time period. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, that is 1,400. So I need to schedule this one for 12.30. There we go. Okay, do we have enough staff members right now, or no? I think we do. Okay, you need fueling, correct? It doesn't say you need fueling, so I'm gonna assume that you don't need fueling. Do you need fueling? Status turnaround in progress. Boarding in progress. Okay, so you're just waiting for your passengers to board. Which you only got, what, three passengers? Do we even have any, like, aircraft staff members? Or. Not ramp agents. Would be service technicians? I'm not too certain. tutorial real quick. Decorate your terminal by putting in... well, duh! Might as well get that done and out of the way. Whatever. Get that in there real quickly so that way I can go and get this tutorial thing done. Already got some shrubs right there, I guess. ready to deboard its passengers, but there's no airside shuttle bus on stand. Yes, I know. It's mostly due to the fact that 
of us is having difficulties. I thought that it's supposed to have like airport staff over here. Yeah, airport staff operating the gates. Hmm. I got all of these done. I got all this done, so... This is literally the only thing I need. Okay. Literally, this is the only thing left. Please tell me I'm done with the decorations. Of course. Security is having a good time with it. It's not even like having trouble. So I don't know what could be the problem here. Hmm. Putting in I've done that already. Okay, this is just becoming weird. This is literally the only thing I have left to do. There's nothing else I can really do that would be considered placing out flowers. Would that be just trees, I guess? I'm supposed to be like getting all these taken care of right now, but okay. Is it literally not wanting to do anything or accept any? Placing some plants, change. Oh, new floors. I wish I read that as floors, not flowers. <laughs> um, I guess yeah. That should complete that, right? Completed, completed. Yeah. So I should. Yeah, go into international. Uh, okay. Maple jet a fueling. No, I can't. I, not from there. Operations. Jet A fueling. Yep. And purchase a pushback truck. Upgrade a small grass stand to either concrete or asphalt. Upgrade. I like the look of the concrete better anyway, so. Going to upgrade the four stands that we have that are commercial base to concrete. Nope, not enough funds. Okay. What next? Uh, construct a medium stand. I don't want to do that. Purchase at least one stair access truck. Maybe. Maybe do that. Unlock any adjacent land by clicking on a padlock. Refuel five commercial flights. I thought I have done that already. And then 
this one is a bit different. Okay, this actually does get a lot. Purchase at least one stair access, yeah. Oh my god. Building a secure conveyor belt system. Interesting. In order to unlock uh, more procurement options, you will need to hire a procurement director. This person has valuable contracts and knows how to get a hold of certain technologies and assets. Well, we already did that, which is right here. Uh, so there is that. Golden opportunity, uh, get rid of you and the Floyd truck. Okay. We technically are in a profit right now. Technically, yes. So, I think all I can sit, really do at this very point in time is go and skip forward by a couple in-game days, I'd say, and wait until we have enough money to go ahead and upgrade the actual um, airport. So that way we can get larger flights going, we can get some good projects going like the conveyor belt system and some other things going along with it so this was kind of a bit of a filler episode ladies and gentlemen I am sorry about it being a little bit delayed unfortunately I can't do anything about that due to work uh, but nonetheless I will see you guys in the next episode this is going to be the end of this one uh, the next episode will be on Wednesday if you guys are interested in seeing more content I do have another video coming out tomorrow it's gonna to be the first of a let's play series with Minecraft um, it's gonna be kinda of new for me for YouTube because I've mostly done PC simulation and strategy games I haven't really done any survival based games for let's play so this will be kinda of new to me so please bear that in mind if you guys are interested in seeing more content nonetheless though Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon in case you haven't done so already. Let's you get notified about when I get uh, when I release videos, doesn't it? At least that's that's what I think. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one. Bye for now.